Hello Tubesters, it's Gav. Welcome to another one of my videos. Today it's just a quick look at uh, the progress or lack of on the Pink Panther. Uh, I can't even remember what I've showed you and what I haven't before. <laughs> but anyway, uh, I've more or less stuck everything on. Uh, I was undecided whether to, obviously because there's lots of gaps and things like that. I thought I know my spraying abilities, I'm going to miss bits and and whatever you know these are obviously ammo boxes um and i thought well do i put everything on not and i'm thinking no i'll I'm, I'm painting it in the three modules uh but everything's going on uh, uh beetle and mrs beetle you'll see there isn't a lot of pe on there i didn't use a lot of it mainly i've got to put a couple of straps on there actually um didn't use a lot of it because uh we take this for instance uh this is your, your ammo uh, feed for for this one here, as you can see on the on the uh, side here. Um, the the thing I've, I've I can fold these, not a problem. You know, I've got I've only got a small photo etch bender, but it's 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 great for for doing everything. Uh, the the problem I well, it's not a problem. It's it's more of a direction of how to model really. Uh, I don't like super gluing these. It's a, always a mess. And yes, I know I can clean it off. I've got some um, debonder and stuff, but I think this looks okay when it's uh, tinned. You know, when it's uh, got some. Oh, <laughs> you know what I'm on about. Oh, uh, brain's not working today very well. Sorry, guys. Uh, but yeah, uh, you know what? Solder. That was the word I was after. Um, soldering them, I think, works nicely and you know you, can, you know scrape it off and well not scrape it off but file it and whatever but i i whenever i glue these they just look a right mess and it's not just the, the residual glue it's just you, you've then got gaps you've got to then try and fill and uh, i've just not liked working with it this way if that makes sense it was the same on this little guy here which i've got to re-glue because it's fairly weak but yeah, you won't see that because it's up inside a, a spare wheel. But it's yeah, I, I'm I'm not a fan to be honest with you. Uh, I'm not saying it's overrated. It's probably just the way I work with it. But it, um, it's not it's not the be end and end all if that makes sense. Uh, I get I get it for the scale thinness and things like that. And as I say, if I could solder, and I will get me when I've got some money, I will get some a little solder and and. I've got I've actually got a large solder iron and, and thick solder but it's just it's way out of scale for this type of stuff and uh, I really need a smaller one so I've not done a lot of uh, photo etch on it as you can see uh, I've even kept the the, the plastic sand uh, sandboards that uh, I know it's Frederick said you know he, he thought the, the the brass ones were a lot more detailed and they probably are but I looked at the brass ones I looked at these ones and I'm thinking well yeah, you know, you've got some sink marks, but they're hidden when it's actually on the side. And obviously you've got these these bits here, but, but they're all hidden when it's on the wooden boards at the side of the vehicle. So, I don't know, I, I thought they they seem fine to me. Yeah, that you know, some will tell me, well, they're way too thick, but uh, they were... As I say, it's not laziness with a PE, it's just, in a lot of cases, I, I, some, it's almost as if it's there for their sake, if that makes sense. Um, so anyway, so I'll, the idea is I'm going to spray it all black and then do a, a pre-shade, <laughs> it's going to be a lot of spraying really, spray it all black, uh, uh, pre-shade it all over, then I'm going to get in there with a, a paintbrush and paint the you know, bits um, that, that need to be, I mean you're not going to see them really, they're going to be under the vehicle but I will paint them obviously. Uh, these water jerry cans I was a bit disappointed in because they they're actually obviously where they've been pressed out they're hollow well you could see the hollowness at the side of the side of the vehicle you know when you looked at them so I've had to put a piece of just see it a very thin piece of plastic card and I've tried to sand it in you know and soften it up with glue and, and try I mean you're still going to see it to a degree I know uh, but I'm hoping it being black it might disguise it but otherwise you'd have just had a great big hole there and also the, um, yeah, so that's that. <laughs> uh, I didn't try and fill in underneath the the 
ammo cans only because I just thought well they would be probably like that anyway if they're slightly forward and you know they're not, not centered type of thing there'd be a slight gap on them so that's that uh, it fits together okay I've had it together two or three times again I've gone with it the, there's a nice brass kit for this as well but again I didn't see any benefit on it on it you know it seemed it seemed a lot of work and a lot of you've got minute uh, whereas this is obviously all one piece you've got minute um, tiny hinges that had to be you I knew that if I didn't get them absolutely by the millimeter in in the correct position they were going to when I come to stick the tray on and everything it was all going to be wrong and again I thought no fine I'm going to the only problem is with it, again I've had to stick some plastic card underneath because there was a again where it's been moulded it was all hollow underneath and again yeah you're not going to see it but uh, I stuck that under there um, just so I, I knew it was there um, the gym peas are all actually stuck in I was debating whether to put these on as a separate item but I think I'll just spray over them if they get if they get pinked up they get pinked up and then I'm obviously going to paint them over again with with actually a um, a brush. We've got the racks here for the sand sand ladders to go on, as they're called. They clip in there quite nicely. Uh, I put a bit of sprue goo around there. There's some slight holes, but to be honest with you, again, when that's on, you don't actually see them. So uh, I might put some homemade storage or something. I'm not sure yet, 100%. I mean, we've got some holes here that I've noticed, but there's nothing left on the on the sprue that I could see, so probably have to be putting some stuff behind there as well. We've got another jimpy on there again. He's well, you can actually take that one off. Actually, he's not fixed in. Um, I've, uh, that wasn't a good fit. I debated whether just to make a complete one out of uh, uh, the the potty and decided to use the the original and just infill. Uh, make it you know because it was obviously huge huge gaps underneath it uh, it didn't fit particularly brilliantly so uh, and the other thing I was left with as well are these I mean pegs here so uh, I mean they're not repeater lights they didn't have repeater lights on them um, so I don't know whether I'm going to have, to have to cut those off before I do any priming. I'll have one last look in the instructions. So yeah, you know it's 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 all. Oops, there goes the jimpy. Uh, it, it, yeah, it's all it's all there. Um, there's a, those couple of things I want to look at before I put primer on them. And uh, there's a tiny bit there I've just noticed on the top of the ammo can. There's a bit there that'll need sanding. So yeah, it's all there. Uh, Normally you wouldn't have the carrying handles on the jimpies up like that, but that's just a minor point. So uh, next time you see her, oh, let's put that there for now before I break it. Next time you see her, uh, she will be all primered and probably primered. Uh, put a coat of black and a coat, coat a bit of white over the top just to highlight bits. I don't know whether to do that because I'm then going to spray it, spray it green, and then spray it pink. So I'm not 100% sure yet, but you probably see it the next time. You'll either see it all painted before it's weathered, which most probably be the case, or I might show it, you know, in in its uh, uh, primed stage. But I doubt it because I don't really see see the point in that. You've you've seen what there is to see. So I think probably the next time you see it, she'll all be painted apart from the weathering. Uh, which uh, shouldn't take too long. I've enjoyed it. It's been a nice little. It's just because I've been doing other things. I've I've been doing bits and pieces. Um, heck of a lot of sink marks in it, but it's a very old kit. Um, uh, but again, most of the sink marks aren't. You know, you're not. Yes, you've got a fair amount of detail underneath, uh, but you won't see that detail like most models when it's actually when it's actually on the ground. So, you know, that that should, that wasn't that much of a problem. I was mainly trying to get rid of some of the sink marks and just to practice really for when I do that. I've been doing the Chevy uh, pickup truck and uh, and trying to get rid of. There's a lot of sink marks underneath of that. Um, so yeah, 
so that's uh, that's all I've got for this uh, one in thirty five scale Tamiya Pink Panther. I have got another one in thirty five scale vehicle coming. I was expecting it today, but it looks like it's going to be tomorrow now. Um, we'll leave that to a a grand a grand. Uh, I want, it's not it's 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 not an old kit, but it's not a new kit. And the, my mate Greg Riley's done a done a a good unboxing on one already. So I, I doubt whether I'll unbox do an unboxing, but I'll, I'll at least show the kit off. And uh, I want to dive straight into that one before I then do the assault on the <laughs> on the the kits that people have been really kindly sending me. So uh, um, then I'll be on the running up, up and over Christmas doing. I'd like to get the Sherman done that Victor sent me. I'd like to do, <laughs> I'd like to do the BV that Frederick sent me, and another mate who wants to remain anonymous sent me a which I haven't showed you another vehicle um, uh, a while ago. I've just been trying to get in the practice <laughs> practice before I tackle it. Uh, and then, of course, as I've said to you guys, there's the Tamiya motorbike at some stage. I would like to have a go at, and uh, just to top everything off, I really want to have. A good strip down on that T55 and see if I can or strip down the bits I've done wrong on it so I can get it together and see if we can actually finish that because there's no way that is going to beat me not the only way that's not going to beat me is if I can't get the things undone to actually get it together but we'll see so this was the Pink Panther or is the Pink Panther hey that's almost a song for the Pink Panther isn't it <laughs> I don't know the rest of it but anyway uh, next time you see her she should be stuck together and in paint and then, uh, you know, we'll, we'll go forward from there. You take care of yourselves, guys, and we'll catch each other. There will be a, probably two videos coming up today. I've got the Highland uh, Fig Officer, the Crimean Officer, 54mm uh, that I've been painting away at, and I'll be putting a video up shortly of that. Take care of yourselves, guys.